Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Kindergarten. Now, in this episode, we are going to figure out how we are going to get that one guy who sells us stuff to make us a key so we can go inside the principal's office. This is the mold for a key to the principal's office that I got from Jerome. If I take it to Monty, he should be able to get it made for me for a price. Bring it to school, and we know that it costs about 20 bucks in order to get it made. And I was thinking, maybe I should save about, you know, 20 bucks in my piggy bank, then bring it to school. But, you only have a $10 limit inside of your piggy bank. I mean, what kind of fucking piggy bank has a $10 limit? A shitty piggy bank, that's what. But... What I was thinking is that there's cubbies and there's money in one of the cubbies, so I think I know what to do. So right now, I'm going to get myself a dollar. I'm going to talk to good old Monte, and we're going to get a yo-yo. We're going to have Jerome distract the teacher, and then we are going to get that money, and hopefully it's worth 20 bucks. So you guys see that money in that cubby right there? I'm going to have good old Jerome talk to the teacher, and then I'm going to steal that money. It's probably some rich kid's money. Some rich, privileged kid's money. All right, go distract her. And then we're gonna grab this. This is Monty's cubby. Naturally, it has money in it. Steal the money. It's worth two bucks? Bruh. Okay, I thought that would be it. I thought that would be worth 20 bucks, but apparently not. Tell them bugs for robbing you, but don't agree to start a fight. Okay. So if I restart the day, he steals my money, then I tell the teacher, Oh, no, he stole my money. Then I confront him. Let me see what happens when we talk to him again, but we don't start a fight. Okay, so I'm talking to the teacher now, because Bugs just stole my money. Good for nothing, gray-haired little kid. And I'm gonna say, is this legal? And she's saying, probably not. And I'm gonna say, what if he hurts me? It'll build character. Okay, what if I say no? I must say, I am not a fan of my darling students telling me no. I sure hope nothing bad happens to you today. That would be just dreadful. Uh, me too. Well, now we have to be on watch because the teacher said she hopes nothing bad happens to us today. So let's go through the day and let's see what she's going to do. I'm just going to keep fast forwarding. Psst. Hey, kid. Uh-oh. I heard about what the teacher was trying to do to me. Old Applegate has had it out for me for a while now. It's nice to know that someone is willing to stand up to her. No problem. Yeah. It actually is a problem. She's probably setting something up to get you in trouble as we speak. That's how I got my first two strikes. If she gets me again, I'll be expelled. Would that be so bad? Considering the last kid to be expelled was that missing kid, Billy. Yeah, it would be pretty bad to be expelled. I'll keep that in mind. We should work together to get her before she gets us. I'm in. Oh, so we get to do the bugs mission. I like this. Smart move. Take this. If she tries anything funny with you, don't be afraid to use it. He's gonna give me a knife? Yeah, it's a knife. Look, something awful is happening at the school. Everyone knows it, but no one talks about it. I'm not about to go down without a fight. Good point. We need to find a way to get the old gal alone. I don't want any witnesses tattling. How do we do that? I'm not entirely sure. We may need to do some reconnaissance. Ask around. See if anyone knows when she's alone. Got it. So we need to find out if anyone knows anything about the teacher. Sorry, sweetie, but I'm spending my morning time with my boyfriend. Whatever, Cindy! Nugget does not wish to spend morning time with you. Nugget is very busy. Right, right. I think Lily knows what's up because her brother is Billy, and that's the kid that's missing, so she may be able to help us. Oh, I don't really do the whole morning buddy thing anymore. My brother Billy was normally my buddy, but he's missing. Okay, never mind. Jerome? jerome rome Dude, you know you're not cool enough to talk to me let alone be my morning buddy. Besides, Monty is gonna hook me up. Fuck you. Ah, you know what? None of these students are helping me out. Let's talk to Miss Jiggly Tits. Go find a morning buddy or you'll be an outcast loser like Nuggets. Are you ever alone during the day? That's an interesting question. Why do you want to know? I'm just curious. Right, but my personal time is none of your business. Now go back to your morning time. What have you found out? She's alone during lunch. Did I really find that out? That's kind of weird. Damn, that's what I was afraid of. How the heck can we get her during lunch? Yikes! I've never gotten one of those in my life. We gotta ask around at lunch. Find out if any of the other kids have ever gotten one and how they got it. Come see me at lunch and we'll discuss where to go from here. Okay. Let's fast forward to lunch. And let's see how we can get our hands on six gold stars. Wait, in my planner it says that find out when the teacher is alone. I said during lunchtime and I failed the mission? What the fuck? 
there anything about Miss Applegate that can tell me when she's alone? Wait a minute, it says right here, buy the voice recorder before getting sent to the office with Cindy by asking her if your love is enough. Okay, so I need to buy a voice recorder, then I need to talk to Cindy, and then I need to record the conversation, and let's see what happens when we do that. Alrighty then, so I'm pretty sure that the voice recorder is right here in the morning. Yes, it is. It's $2.50. Man, that's expensive. All right, let's talk to Cindy, our wifey. Hey there, cutie. I'm Cindy. Want to be my boyfriend? Sure. Heh, <laughs> that's what I like to hear. And we'll totally be the cutest couple in school. But first, you have to do something for me. And we have to say, isn't our love enough? <laughs> that's cute, but no, it isn't. You're going to have to prove it to me. How do I do that? Why? I'm not proving anything to you. Why do I have to prove it to you? Why? How about because I'm the prettiest, smartest, nicest girl you'll ever meet? Does that do it for you? I'm sold. What do I do? You don't seem like any of those things. Excuse me? I know you did not just say that to me, because if you did, I would have you taken out. How would you do that? I'd like to see you try. Should we provoke her? Should we provoke her and those blonde pigtails? You bet your sweet ass we're going to do that. Fine. You asked for it. What are you going to do? RAPE! Oh, dearie me! Are you freaking kidding me? What on earth is going on here? I heard someone cry rape! Yes, Miss Applegate, it was me. The boy tried to rape me. I'm five years old! I don't even know what a penis is yet! Cindy, we've been over this. Boys not wanting to be your boyfriend does not count as rape. But as per the school policy, I have to send you both to the principal. What? You're punishing me for almost being raped? Now you listen to me, you little parasite. You are going to the principal's office. End of story. This is so unfair. Yeah, yeah. Tell it to the principal. Come on in, children. Let's get this all sorted out. Oh, man, I know how he likes to sort things out. So what seems to be the problem here? He tried to rape me. So you're accusing your little friend here of trying to rape you. Really, Cindy? Yes, sir. I could barely fight him off. I'm going to assume you are going to deny that you raped her, is that correct? Yes? No? <laughs> What's rape? Uh, it's when a man, um, does some stuff, you know? Uh, ask your parents. No, wait, don't do that. What am I thinking? Just say you didn't do it so I can move on with my life. I didn't do it. I did it. I want to know what it is. I really don't want to know what it is, but I do want to know what that blood in the corner of that rug is doing there. I'm kind of curious about all that, but I'm obviously going to say I didn't do it. That's what I thought. Well, since no one witnessed the incident and you don't have any proof, there's not much I can do except separate you two for a while. I recorded the incident! Aha! You did! Well, that makes this a hell of a lot easier. Cindy, do I even have to listen to this or will you make it easy on yourself and just admit nothing happened? But, but, he, he what? Okay, fine, but he started it. Not good enough. I think I'm going to enjoy not having you in my school for a while, Cindy. I'm going to keep this recorder in case there's any trouble when your awful mother calls, so I can't have it back? No. Now why don't you run back to class? I think you've missed enough learning for today. Sure. Well, we got rid of Cindy. Oh, you're back. Where's Cindy? What's your punishment? None. I had proof I didn't do it. So that means she's gone. Oh, happy, happy day. I was so sick of hearing all of her nonsense. You've earned a gold star. You know, I thought you were going to be a problem for me today after that whole bugs thing, but I guess you're not all that bad. Wait, the bugs thing? You mean where I have to start a fight with bugs and then try to get him eliminated? I think this whole thing is bugged. Maybe I'm supposed to do that, and that's how I get rid of Cindy. Because the teacher's mission was to get rid of all the students, so maybe if I restart the day and then do all those missions where I have to get rid of all the students, then I can complete her mission! Ah! Okay, so I'm gonna restart the day, I'm gonna do that, and we are gonna finish Miss Jiggly Tit's mission. Wait, I just restarted the mission, I got Bugs in trouble, and now he's in here, and I'm here with Cindy, so this is gonna be interesting. I'm sorry, Bugs, but you leave me no choice but to... Oh, what now? What are you two doing here? He tried to rape me. Great. Well then, Bugs, it looks like you get off easy this time. Get out of here, you little dumpster fire. Oh, shit. Bugs is free. He's a free man. I'll be seeing you at recess, pal. Aw, oh, fuck me. Okay, you two, let's get this over with. Oh, so we know we're gonna get Cindy in trouble, but now that Bugs is free... What the hell's gonna happen to us? And now the teacher's saying, well, our little roost didn't get rid of Bugs like I'd hoped. But don't worry, there's plenty of time to handle that later. What about Jerome? Ah, yes. The high and mighty Jerome. So now I gotta get Jerome in trouble for a hall pass, 
and then the teacher is gonna get a new plan for us to get rid of bugs. Okay, that makes sense now. Okay, I get it now. So I befriended Nugget, who I'm gonna eliminate later by going into Nugget Cave and getting some evidence to get him expelled too. But Nugget wants to poison bugs, so that's what we're gonna do right now. Ah, now this is all starting to come together. Here is another Nugget. It is quite similar to the one you just ate, only this one is far more potent. Just get bugs to eat it. Okay, I'll try. Better hurry. Nugget thinks you have until the bell rings before the poison does its work. I hate you. Alright, let's talk to bugs. No way a worm like you is gonna be sitting with me. I need you to eat this. What? Why? What is it? It's a nugget. Yeah, I can see that. Why the heck would I want to eat something you gave me? Because you're poor and you need food? Because otherwise, you'll look like a sissy. What? Who around here thinks I'm a sissy because I want to eat a stupid nugget? Uh, Monty. That dweeb thinks he's so smart, but he knows I'm not a sissy. He's probably just trying to talk tough. Right. So why would I eat the stupid nugget then? Um, because you're poor and need the food? Okay, kid, if I'm so poor and you're so charitable, why don't you throw in a couple bucks as well? Ah, oh, damn it. I don't have the money. Fuck. Okay, so why would I eat the stupid nugget? Damn it! So I need to have another two bucks? Fuck out of here! What can I get for this? Can I get any money for the gold stars? No, I can't because they're not worth shit! Of course they're not! Okay, so now we have the two bucks, so let's see what we can do. Whoa, seriously? Cool, thanks. Consider the stupid nugget eaten. Nom, 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 nom. And now he's pretty much just gonna die. Is it done? Has bugs been poisoned? It's done. Wonderful. Nugget is quite pleased. If what you say is true, Bugs should die at any moment now. Yup, he just died. And there he goes. Here's the antidote as promised. Thank you. Nugget hopes you feel better. Please come see Nugget at recess. Nugget would like to show you something. Great. And now I know how we're gonna get rid of Nugget. We are gonna bring Cindy's dead dog over to the teacher. And without Cindy there to beat me up to a bloody pulp, we can now get Nugget expelled. Well, what did you find? This dog corpse? Oh my dearie me, is that? Is that? Is that Cindy's dog? Nugget? Uh-oh, someone's in trouble. What is it, large teacher lady? Did you kill Cindy's dog? What? No, Nugget would never. Well, not never, but Nugget is relatively harmless. Don't lie to me. Nugget is not lying. Nugget knows it was the janitor who killed the little puppy. I know it was you, and now your big old titties knock Nugget into the cave. Oh my, that was unfortunate. Well, that didn't go as planned, but I'm relatively pleased with the result. You've earned another gold star. And now we have four. But do we have to get rid of the other people or no? I don't think you're going to have enough time to get all the gold stars today. Better luck tomorrow. Aw, oh, man. So I have to get rid of every single person? It says Bugs, Monty, and Lily should all be eliminated during lunch. Lily should be eliminated after Bugs and Monty by knocking on the principal's door. Okay, so I know how to get rid of Bugs by making him eat the nugget. And then Lily, all I have to do is knock on the principal's door. But then how do I get rid of Monty? Let me restart the day and let me figure this all out. Okay, so Bugs is down. And then Lily went to the other room. I need to figure out how I'm going to get rid of Monty. How you doing there, Sonny? Let's see. Can I go to the bathroom? Oh, I'm not allowed to let any of you kitties out in the hall during lunch. But maybe you could do me a little something if you wanted me to look the other way. Like what? Well, I seem to have misplaced my glasses. These old eyes can't read the menu without them. See if you can find a pair lying around and I'll let you out. Where could they be? Does Monty have them? He probably does have them, huh? He's probably wearing those glasses. Nope, he doesn't have it. Okay, maybe it's inside of the trash cans. Nope, not inside the garbage cans. Let's say he spelled biscuit wrong. What? No, I didn't. How would you even know? You can't even read. Monty can. Ugh, is that dweeb with the glasses? Who am I kidding? Of course it is. Hey, nerd. Oh, he's gonna beat Monty to a pulp. Um, what do you want? Got some janitor stuff you wanna sell me? No, but I got a coffin for you to buy. Oh, God. Let this be a lesson to you about correcting people's spelling. There. Lessons were learned. Lines were drawn. Oh, these glasses flew off the nerd's face when I hit him. You can have them. These old eyes don't miss a thing. Thank you. And now we just gotta give it to this crazy-ass lunch lady. Can I go to the bathroom? And here are your glasses, ma'am. Now we can knock on the door to the principal's office and we can eliminate Lily. So we got Bugs, Monty, and this is how we do it. This is the door to the principal's office. Knock on the door. What the? It's lunchtime. Who's knocking on my door? What are you doing? You're gonna get us both in trouble. 
What are you kids doing out here? You should be in the cafeteria. Lily was eavesdropping on you. If Lily was eavesdropping, then what were you doing? I knocked to let you know. Ah, this guy is too smart. Lily, we've been over this. I had nothing to do with your brother's disappearance. Why don't you step inside my office and we'll talk this over again? I know it was you. One day I'll prove it. I'm getting real sick of this young lady. Office, now! I low-key feel bad about this, but I want to get all those gold stars. Please excuse me for a moment. And that's the last we've ever heard of Lily. Jesus. Okay, thank you for letting me know about her. I'm sure you heard the recess bell. Why don't you go out and play? You're covered in blood. You know what? We're not going to even question this whole thing. We're just going to leave. And now we know how to get rid of Nuggets. So we just got to show Miss Applegate the dog corpse. And then we've eliminated everybody. Well, that didn't go as planned. But I'm relatively pleased with the results. You've earned another gold star. Well, would you look at that? This playground is completely empty. You've gotten rid of all your classmates and collected six gold stars. So what now? Now I go home early. Don't I get a reward? Oh, right. Your reward. Here you go. It's a special lunch pass. You can use it anytime you want to have lunch with me. It's my way of protecting my rats for selling out their friends. Thanks. Welp, there's no one left to teach today, so I'm gonna take off. What about me? Look, kid, either I can earn a gold star or you can start walking home. Choice is yours. Good. I'll see you tomorrow. Toodles! So the last mission we're gonna do in this episode is the Bugs mission where we need to be alone with the teacher. He's giving us a knife, so I'm pretty sure you guys can paint the picture of what's about to happen. But we need to find a way to get the old gal alone, and then I have an option of saying I have a lunch pass. Well, look at you, little Miss Teacher's pet. That's gonna make this a whole lot easier. So after morning time is over, you're going to have a very special lunch with Teacher. And just kill her? Pretty much. Just wait until her back is turned and strike. I'll be waiting outside. Um, okay. And don't get cold feet. If she thinks something is up, who knows what will happen. I can do this. Alright, nothing left to do except wait out morning time. We should probably stop talking now before she gets suspicious. Right. So we're just gonna fast forward time. And I want to have lunch with you, Miss Applegates. Oh, fiddlesticks. There goes my smoke break. Very well. You can have special lunch with me today. Excellent. The rest of you run along to the cafeteria. Having special lunch with my favorite student instead of getting a smoke break is one of my favorite things about teaching. Here's a Mick Glob Silly Meal. Knock yourself out. Thanks. Go on, have a bite. It's delicious and possibly nutritious. Perfect. That takes care of one insubordinate student. What do you mean? I poisoned your silly meal. Guess it's not so silly after all. I saw you talking to Bugs earlier. Bugs never talks to students unless he's planning something against me. I'm dead? Yep. It's been a pleasure being your teacher. You know, up until now. I hate you. Damn it! I think I know exactly what I need to do, but I'm gonna save it for the next episode because this one's actually running a little bit too long. So if you guys want to see the next episode as soon as possible, make sure you give this video one big fat like and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead too!